Good evening. If you're getting nervous about how tough things are going to get this year, you're not alone. The latest business opinion survey shows nearly three quarters of businesses expect economic conditions to deteriorate in the coming months. And for some, it's already starting to hit, with 13% reporting a decline in activity in the last quarter. That's the worst result since June 2020, immediately after the first lockdown. On top of that, new figures have raised a red flag over the employment rate, with recruitment body RCSA reporting job listings are down more than 26% from a year ago. Keisha Brownlee reports. The tide is turning. After two years of pandemic-induced problems and businesses screaming out for staff, job vacancy listings have plummeted. We've had historic lows of 3.3% unemployment, uh, and I think we can expect that to start to rise uh, if this trend continues over the next 12 months. Figures from recruitment company RCSA show job listings are down 26.7% from the same time last year. It could be down to several factors, but a major concern is the possibility it's a skill shortage. It would lead us to believe that it's more likely to be due to businesses actually pulling back from trying to fill the roles uh, and perhaps becoming resigned to st sticking with the status quo that they can't find the people. It's feared that could lead to a loss in business confidence and productivity, especially when the decline is across the board. Public administration listings almost halved. Technology professionals down more than a third, followed by accommodation and food services and then sales workers. The Restaurant Association says despite that decline, staff is still the number one need in hospitality. The number one challenge at the moment is staffing. So it's been critical now for our sector for um, some time. According to Trade Me data, job applications increased in every region in the fourth quarter compared with the same time last year. The biggest increases were in Gisborne, Hawke's Bay, West Coast and Auckland. It's a reflection of the current market conditions, with salaries being at an all-time high. Um, you know, demand for, for skill is, is at an all-time high as well. The latest quarterly survey from the Institute of Economic Research showed 73% of businesses are expecting economic conditions to deteriorate over the coming months. That's the weakest result in the history of the survey, which dates back to 1970. There are concerns high interest rates will dampen demand. This is having an impact in terms of firms uh, limiting the ability of firms to pass on higher costs by increasing prices. Even people already in jobs are struggling with costs. We do have people in full-time employment or a number of people employed in one family that just don't have uh, enough money uh, to make ends meet. With the telltale signs of a recession looming, as well as an upcoming election, the record low in confidence could yet be broken again. Keisha Brownlee, News Hub. The most downbeat sector in today's survey, the building industry. 77% of firms expect the economy to get worse. But on the positive side, you might now be able to finally book a builder. Simon Shepherd reports. 2022 was a frantic year for builder Anton Verrett. So like the Reserve Bank, he's engineered his own slowdown in activity. Yeah, yeah, I could feel myself getting physically tired and mentally tired towards the end of the year. So, yeah, I've deliberately spaced it out a bit for myself. Other builders may not have that choice. New inquiries to small to medium building firms have dropped by 20%, and a further 20% of existing projects are being scaled back. But they say that's not a bad thing. The reduction in inquiry or demand and reduction in the house prices are getting back to sort of pre-COVID settings, and the industry is more comfortable with that. But in the wider construction industry, 77% of firms are expecting things to get worse. The survey pointing to a decline in new orders and output in the building sector, we do expect the impact of that softer construction activity to be more apparent in the second half of this year. That could already be happening in the commercial and apartment sectors. So there are projects that are not going to market. Will expectation become reality? Anton Verrett was building in the UK when the global financial crisis hit. I was doing commercial then though and uh, that just, yeah, the work dried up. He doesn't think that will happen in the residential sector, but either way, it could be a good time to book a builder. Well, kia ora, Simon. Tell us, why is this happening when we've had record building consents? 
Yeah, well, that's right, Sam, but those concerns only guarantee a good pipeline of work for the first half of the year. Stubbornly high inflation, another interest rate rise on the way, means that investment intentions are falling away for the second half. However, the construction industry is desperate to avoid another boom and bust cycle. It's still rebuilding the skill shortage that was decimated by the global financial crisis. It doesn't want to lose all those newly trained workers. Simon Shepard, they're live from Auckland. Tēnā koe.